this is one I've been kind of looking forward to. The very, very first Funko Pop albums and it's Ready to Die from the Notorious B.I.G., which is a classic hip hop album. Um, easily to me, maybe top five hip hop album, like, and even debatable between uh, Notorious B.I.G. fans as to whether you're ready to die versus life after death, like completely two different styles of albums, different flows, tones, but both very like incredible albums from the Notorious B.I.G. Some say if Life After Death was condensed into one album that it would be neck and neck with Ready to Die, but I have my opinions. I'll share on which one I prefer or what aspects I like of what album, but as you can see there, like you have the album artwork in the background. You have the baby on the outside. And then you have the Funko on the inside of that album sitting, chilling there. And this, this is a hard plastic, almost like a soft protector. It, on the borderline of a hard protector, because if you squeeze it, it's not going to crush. And then you can see there on the top, it says pop. And it has a shrink wrap around it. The paper slip case cover does not have a shrink wrap. Um. Let's take a look. There's the side of it. Number one, Notorious B.I.G. At the back, my fingerprints all in that. Um, one thing to be careful, and I ordered one off Amazon, and it came with the baby kind of like almost laying on his back or slanted, and I didn't like it. I returned it, or it's in the process of getting returned, and I picked this one up in store. Some of those, be careful. They're arriving like that. It's supposed to look like this. And from when I checked the back of this, I'm not going to open this, but you can't get inside the packaging to fix it. Like this lid doesn't open. The bottom doesn't open even when you slip this out of the, the cardboard. There's a screw in the back that's connected to the back of his head. And so it's, it's attached. So it won't move around too much. It's attached to the, um, to the back of this thing so when he's in second place he's stuck in place i mean you could take a screwdriver and kind of try to wiggle him around but if your figure is crooked slanted it is impossible almost to fix and get him positioned like perfectly flat on the floor like the way he's posed on the album and to me like the ocd of collecting funko pops is like nah it needs to look perfect so I would advise going in store, taking a look at it, and picking out the best version you could find. The one where he's sitting the way he's supposed to, not all crooked or slanted. Um, and if you get it delivered, it might get tossed around in shipping. And it might end up like that way, and you might not be able to fix it. Or it might have shipped out that way already from Funko, where like when they put the figure inside, they didn't perfectly line him up so that he's not crooked. So some of these are going to look kind of funky. So just be careful out there if you're trying to purchase this, looking for this. When I saw it, I assumed in pictures, oh, if he's crooked, I could just open the top and then like line him back up the way he's supposed to. But you can't. You'd have to break through the plastic, the hard plastic, in order to get to the figure. He's like pretty much bolted in there. Like, let me see if I can, you can see... Trying to focus. You see that little white thing sticking out from the back of his fro? That's the screw that he's attached to. So it's good for one thing because he's stuck in place. You don't have to worry about him like bumping around inside the box or wiggling around. But if he's already attached the wrong way to begin with, you're pretty much out of luck there. So don't see this or pictures like in store and think, oh, I could just fix that when I get home. No, <laughs> you're going to be in a world of hurt. Look for it already posed the correct way. You will not be able to fix this without putting in some hardcore work in order to get it fixed. It's just some advice. It's the only reason I'm really posting this video. I mean, I got this. I know there's other videos already out, but if nobody else has explained that to you. 
tried to look for it in this mint condition with the figure posed the way it's supposed to. Um, and as far as which Biggie album I prefer, um, I would say maybe Ready to Die edges out Life After Death just by a hair, even though the stronger songs on Life After Death I'm a bigger fan of. But, I mean, this has Juicy, this has Everyday Struggle, um, so much, like, and so much of his life was just put into it, and he was so hungry, the fire he was spitting with, like, the beats, this was just a nearly perfect, pretty much perfect album, and Life After Death had a lot of highs and stuff, too, but it wasn't matching, like, this rapid-fire energy from this, from this record. And I'm just cool that they made it the number one Funko Pop album to release. I think um, other ones that we've seen previews for are going to be like Linkin Park. And I think Ozzy Osbourne were ones that I've seen that are the next to release. So thanks for watching. Just make sure your baby is not all jacked when you purchase it. Please, words of advice, believe it.